this ski trip. Oh, it was great. I mean, Claire's family was so cool. They loved me. I mean, they were even laughing at my jokes. You didn't tell me they were drinkers. <laughs> Where's Dad? Oh, Carmen, we didn't want to tell you this right before your trip, but there was a plane crash, and they think the landing gear made by your dad's factory was involved. How's he doing? The last few days have been pretty tough. I'm going to say hi to him. Okay. Hey, Dad! Wow, Carmen, you screamed louder than your mother. Oh, you guys are sick. I can't believe you made up that horrible story about a plane crash with some stupid prank. Actually, honey, that part was true. Oh. You were supposed to wait for me. Oh, sorry, Max. You can hang yourself at school. <laughs> I bet that janitor with the drinking problem could use a good scare. No, you are not wearing that to school. Now, get ready for school, both of you. George, you better hurry up or you're going to be late. Just trying to figure out what I'm going to say to everybody the first day back after the crash. And how do you get your mind off those two people that died? Oh, man, it's going to be gloomy. George, wait. You can't go to work like that. Have a good day. Have a good day. Tell Luca have a good day. Maybe you didn't hear me. I said, turn off the freaking music. Look, I'm team leader, and I want everybody on my line focused. Are you saying I'm not doing my job right? Huh? Because if you are, you're going to be taking a ride on the pain train. Back off, or you're going to take a ride on the... Ouch, bus! <laughs> Is it on? I don't know. Did you leave it on? Hey, Ernie Frank, what's this about? He said I'm not focused, like I'm responsible for what happened to those people. I didn't say that. But maybe you should take a second look at your strut seals. I wouldn't be surprised if they leaked. It's on! Yeah, because I left it on. Come on, come on, come on! Well, it's like two manatees fighting over one head of lettuce. <laughs> If you two guys don't knock it off, I'm gonna take a couple of those seals and shove them down your throats. Yeah, well, I'd still be able to breathe because they don't work. Those struts are airtight, okay? And even if I did put out a bad part, one of the inspectors is supposed to catch it. Well, don't look at me. I'm not the one they call Inspector Alzheimer's. <laughs> hey, hey, this isn't my fault. I do my job right and nothing gets past me. You know, I only pretend not to remember what you say, because I love hearing you brag about how you invented fire. That's right, you're older than fire! <laughs> girls, girls! You're both old and nasty. <laughs> Look, this is not the time to start blaming each other. Okay, we didn't do anything wrong. And we'll get through this. We've been through tough times before. Remember the asbestos scare? No. No. You were never in danger. Now, come on, get back to work. Back to work. Need to see you in your office, backstabber. Jack, when are you going to get over this? Look, I thought the company was splitting up. I'm sorry I picked your brother over you. Well, that's all water under the bridge, two-faced lying Judas. <laughs> Listen, I wanted to give you a heads up. NTSB is investigating us. Sending a guy over this afternoon is going to question all the workers. They think we're responsible? Hey, don't worry. I mean, they're not going to find anything. Now, I've got to go to my office and erase a lot of stuff off my hard drive. <laughs> oh, man, Jack. No, no, no. No, no George, it's, it's not about the crash. It's, but I'm writing a romance novel. Well, why would the NTSB care about that? 